I'm here with Festival Director of Tea in the Park, the 15th Tea in the Park, Jeff Ellis. Hi there, Jeff. Hi, I just realised I was 15 when we did the first one. Yeah, so. it's a long, long time. So what makes it so different now from then? Well, obviously the size. You know, we're, we're 20,000 people back in 94 and we're up to 80,000 now and we could sell it twice over. So, you know, it's grown phenomenally. We've got 11 stages rather than the, the three that we started with. So, yeah, it's, no. come on, it's come on a long way in 15 years. Not bad going. And is that a case then of the bands coming to you rather than you going to the bands now? It's a bit of both, you know, we don't have to twist anybody's arm to get them to play, but we still have to pay them, <laughs> we still have to write the cheque, you know, so, uh, but no, it's great, and particularly, you know, a band like Rage Against the Machine, who played in 94, and were a real highlight in 94, for them to reform and want to come back to, to Teen the Park, that, that's, that's been special this year. Yeah, we've got Rage Against the Machine, we've got uh, The Verve, who are headlining on the Friday, we've got, you know, R.E.M. and Kings of Leon on the Sunday, the Fratellis, obviously, on the Saturday night, which will, you know, go down a storm, uh, Kaiser Cheese, Prodigy, we've got Katie Tunstall and uh, Seraphonics on the on the Friday as well, uh, and you know a whole host of bands: Primal Scream, Lightspeed Champion, Ting Tings, Sons and Daughters. You know the list goes on. Lightspeed Champion, it's great to see that you're on the bill. The album is absolutely fantastic. H had you heard much about T in the Park? Or have you been up to see T in the Park before? Well, actually, it's really interesting because I've always wanted to go to T in the Park, but uh, you know I've lived in London. For most of my life, so it's the kind of thing where it's, you know, it takes a lot of planning, and I'm not good at planning, you know. So it's really cool. Um, you know, when I found out I was going to be playing it, I was really excited because it's. It usually does have like, you know, one or two like really big acts that don't do Carling, you know, or they might do Glastonbury or whatever. But there's always like a few. As long as I remember from being, you know, 15 or whatever, there's always these certain acts. Who I'm really interested in, and who are you know they're just doing Tina Park, and like with this year, it's so it's so cool because I'm actually a really big REM fan, <laughs> and like I'm really excited about the new stuff, and you know I don't know what day I'm playing, but I'll try and stay so I can you know see them. And Rage Against the Machine, it's a band uh, I was like really into, but too young to go to the you know story or gigs or whatever that was going on so it's gonna be it's really it's really cool what for you are highlights for the 15th year um highlights um incredible yeah getting to the 15th year um is quite, <laughs> yeah, quite that's amazing. always an achievement yeah, yeah you know we 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 sat in offices again back 16 17 years ago um dreaming about this music event um we launched at Strathclyde Park, 20,000 people. But that was a phenomenal success. But if you'd asked anybody at that time, you know, where's this going to go and where's it going to end up? I don't think too many of us would have said 15 years later, we're looking at Balado and an audience of 80,000 per day and a, a music event that's on a world stage. That's quite incredible. Uh, Seeing the park has got an incredible reputation for you know, establishing artists and artists that move through the stages and then find themselves headliners. You know, we, we introduced the Tea Break stage and Tea Break has a, an incredible track record. Um, Biffy Clyro, um, Sons and Daughters are, are back this year. Um, um, Amy McDonald played um, Tea Break stage last year and she's going to be main stage this year. Yeah. That's the sort of track record and, and that's you know, which makes Tea in the Park all the more special. What do you think of the lineup for this year, the 15th uh, Tea in the Park Festival? It's just incredible. I mean, you've got to look at Tea in the Park as pretty much the biggest festival in the UK now. I mean, REM, Rage Against the Machine and The Verve as headliners. And then you see the supporting cast are all headline acts in their own right. You know, The Prodigy, Chemical Brothers, Kaiser Chiefs, etc, etc, etc. It just goes on. The thing I love about Tea in the Park is you get these massive names, but you also get sort of local Scottish bands, which I think Tea in the Park was pretty much the first festival to start supporting local talent. Um, the Tea Break Tent, which my show on Radio 1 obviously supports. But then throughout all the, the smaller stages you get Scottish artists coming through and you get kind of artists that are probably going to be headliners in, in a year or two's time playing the smaller stages as well like this man right here the most important thing is get down the front and enjoy the live music yeah I'm really looking forward to Tea in the Park 2008 fantastic